sanctuary, which helps assist hundreds of animals, is looking for, for some assistance of its own. The owners, now using their own retirement money to keep it running, say that they may soon have to start turning animals away. Our Kimberly Quizon has our story tonight from Parrish. Get that up close. Survival is the name of the game at Magical Miniatures. Someone wrapped a bow around her tail. It was so tight it cut off the circulation. Like Powder the Kangaroo. Without having the shelter where she was, these areas were just raw and blistered when she came in. But Powder's story is not unique. Rocky had been hit by a car. He had sores around his hips just because the bones were rubbing. At the nonprofit animal care center, some 200 animals are given a second chance at life thanks to a handful of workers and volunteers like John Affolter. I actually took a week's vacation uh, last week and worked on them for the whole week every day. During the day, Affolter works at the Brainton Police Department as a lieutenant. At night, he spends his time building new houses for the kangaroos and wallabies. This is Taylor, and she's enjoying her tomato. Even with help from volunteers, the animal's bills aren't cheap. We spend about $500,000 a year to keep this facility afloat. The organization's funds are starting to dry up. We have to be careful um, to make sure that the funding is going to be there for the guys that we already have. Have. Since many of the animals depend on humans, they will never return to the wild. They really need it. You do what you have to. As the bills continue to grow, the owners are now using their retirement money to keep magical miniatures operating. But it's all worth it because of this. He's grateful. Just like the animals who come here, they need a second chance. In Manatee County, Kimberly Quizon, ABC Action News.